Hi, Smoke here. Tip is from the trail from beautiful Denver. I was just listening to uh, The Alchemist, who's uh, got so much great content, and uh, her video on uh, one of her videos, but in it, um, she addressed a topic which I think would be relevant to many of us, whether whether we're, she's quite a she's got quite a bit of material that um, may or may not be appropriate for everyone, but um, depending on where you are in your journey, this is I thought really relevant. The difference between judgment and discernment. I was dealing with this the other day, and someone I have a lot of respect for, when I had suggested them listen to um, podcasts from someone who I, I think had some really interesting points and perspective about what's happening in the world and what's happening with our government and politics and uh, really some, I thought some really terrific insights. Um, the immediate reaction was, oh, I don't really like that person. And, and I'm like, well, well, tell me more. And uh, it turns out, you know, reacted badly to some of their positions or some of their statements. And so therefore had a judgment that nothing could be useful. And I really think um, Sarah uh, brought um, what I, the way I was trying to think about it to light, uh, which is the difference between judgment and discernment. So judgment is the immature version of discernment. So s discernment is really uh, nuanced and it's understanding all the different perspectives, the different levels, uh, the level of consciousness of whoever you're thinking about or uh, uh, engaging with and understanding that they may have some value there and there may be things that you can learn by not judging, but just having discernment. You don't have to necessarily agree or embrace or anything else, but not judging is a big difference. Uh, so discerning is really, really great. It's a great, powerful skill. To the degree we find ourselves judging, and we've all done this in our lives, I certainly have, take a step back and say, well, why am I judging? What am I reacting? And, and if you can get separate yourself from that judgment and you can get to a point of just passively listening without having backtalk in your own mind about disagreeing with something, the odds are you're gonna learn something, glean something really important from that person or that situation that you wouldn't otherwise get if you come to it with judgment. So that's my tidbit for the day. Hope it's useful. Cheers.